To keep a consistent color, we use the same mud for the grout. Fill the grout bag up less than halfway with the type N mortar. Apply the grout into the joints making sure it contacts the back wall and both stones or the edge that the stone is up against. The grout should flow out easily, but it should not pour. It should be thick enough so that it doesn't drip down. Once the grout has been applied, drying time varies depending upon humidity and temperature. Once the grout sets up enough, you can knock it down with a broken lath stick or even a paint mixing stick. It should crumble away from the wall, but be loose enough so it's still pliable. Be careful not to stain the face of the stone with any moisture smears. Knock down the grout so that the level is uniform over the entire wall. The stone should vary in depth, not the grout. It's very important to press the grout down against the stone, the wall, and against the adjacent stone so there is no gap between the stones. Once the knockdown grout has dried to the point of crumbling when disturbed, take a light wire brush and go over the grout and edges of the stone to clean away any excess. The goal is to make the grout even and smooth without lines. For this, it is important that the brush is not too coarse. A stainless steel or copper bristled brush works well. Finally, brush away any fine particles with a horsehair brush or a whisk broom. The grout should be dry enough at this point so that it does not smear.